All of this, Democratic Congressman Mike Quigley of Illinois is joining us. He's a member of the Intelligence Committee. Congressman, thanks so much for joining us. We certainly have a lot to discuss. But first, this truly extraordinary meeting at the White House today completely devolved with the president insulting the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. They stormed out, according to the Republicans. What's your reaction to this? Uh, first of all, uh, uh, Speaker Pelosi can certainly take care of herself. And uh, I think you can make the case that she's uh, the most successful uh, female elected official in our country's history. Uh, so uh, that's fine. It, sh it, it blinds us, I think, momentarily to the bigger issues here. And that is that the United States has backed out of a commitment to the only troops really fighting ISIS uh, on the front lines, our allies, the Kurds. And as a result, uh, the ISIS is, now has free reign. Uh, we've betrayed uh, one of our closest allies, and I believe that makes us less safe in the future. Uh, on foreign policy, I remember what Emerson wrote, uh, to have a friend, you need to be one. Does anyone in the world now think that we'd be a trusted ally? The White House just uh, released the text of the letter that the uh, president said, uh, uh, that the president sent to uh, Erdogan of Turkey, among other things, uh, saying this uh, in the aftermath of the earlier decision by the U.S. to pull out troops, saying, don't be a tough guy, don't be a fool. What's your reaction to that? You know, I, I'll be honest. I saw this uh, online first. I got a copy of the letter. I actually thought it was a prank, a joke, that it couldn't possibly come from the Oval Office. It, it sounds all the world like uh, the President of the United States in some sort of momentary lapse just dictated angrily whatever was on the top of his head. These are extraordinarily serious issues in an extraordinarily dangerous part of the world. And for him to write this and to also say that it doesn't affect us is, is ignorance at the highest level. The fact is everything's connected and uh, places across the world uh, can impact us here. They affect our allies. It affects our allies' willingness to help us. That makes us less safe. But uh, clearly, uh, ISIS is willing to come here and do damage and willing to go and kill our allies as well. So he's wrong on all points of this. And it's particularly scary that there doesn't seem to be any guardrails on foreign policy on this president. Speaker Pelosi also said uh, that, uh, emerging from the White House meeting, that impeachment, the impeachment inquiry didn't come up during the course of the meeting. But do you think that's uh, what's agitating the president right now? I think a lot of things are agitating the president right now. I don't think there's anyone there who pushes back that he listens to. Uh, and I think as a result, you see this helter-skelter foreign policy and his actions on the local level. But uh, look, the House and the Senate can do more than one thing at a time. The impeachment inquiry moves on, but in the meantime, we're passing important legislation on a daily basis. Let's turn to the latest in the U Ukraine scandal. How significant is it, Congressman, that federal prosecutors uh, are conducting what's being described as a counterintelligence investigation into the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani? You know, I'm not aware of the investigation, but it, if it's true, it's absolutely no surprise. I mean, how can anything go wrong? Uh, Rudy has absolutely no security clearance. He has no foreign policy experience. On my questioning, the head of our intelligence community said he didn't know what Rudy was doing. Uh, Secretary Pompeo apparently didn't know what he was doing. So it's shadow government, and what role Rudy was playing is uh, perhaps known only to Rudy and the President of the United States. Uh, as a result, I, I think he can be taken advantage of. I think he could be a target, and it's a concern beyond the fact that I believe they were doing things contrary to U.S. policy. Your committee uh, heard today uh, more testimony, this time from uh, one of Secretary of State Mike Pompeo's key advisors, Michael uh, McKinley, who just resigned the other day. What sort of context did he provide? You know, uh, I'm following House rules now, and I, I can't testify. Uh, I can't talk about uh, what was testified today. Uh, I know others might have already, but I'll, I'll just say this. None of the testimony seems to contradict it anyway by anybody. Uh, what we have learned in the whistleblower's complaint and the transcript that came out of the White House. Right? The President of the United States bullied uh, one of our closest allies and enlisted uh, the De Department of Justice to help in that manner. But as far as how anyone testified, I, I can't talk to that. Congressman Quigley, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. All right, stay with us.